but you know, uh, what would be greater than, than sort of seeing a, a slide is to, to show you the, the actual car. So let's release the Titan. <laughs> Can we, can we have the, the, the chassis and the, the, the drivetrain of the dual motor Model S? I've got the, 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 the front drive unit, the rear drive unit. And the, the, the thing that makes this uh, unique and special and sort of better than uh, all-wheel drive in the past is because you can dynamically shift the power from front to rear at the millisecond level. So you can very quickly adjust <coughs> torque uh, more than is it's possible really with a, a mechanically linked system. So all all-wheel drive systems out there are just mechanically linked with, with the shaft. So it's, it's like the equivalent of being sort of analog, uh, whereas this is this is a, a digital system. So it, with a system like this, it's it's uh, inherently able to achieve better road building than a mechanically linked system that's just there with, with a, a single engine. And it, we're able to actually improve almost everything about the car, which is, it's a rare case that you're able to do something like that. Uh, the, the, so the, the, the acceleration gets a little faster, the top speed is higher, the, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and uh, something that's, that's, that's I think, uh, that is for the first time ever, the, the range, the efficiency actually increases. As you, as you probably know, with other oil, with all oil drive systems out there, um, the, 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 you get less mileage, it's less efficient to have, uh, to have an all wheel drive system. But in the case of Model S, because we're able to have two drive units where we can shift the power from, from front to rear and, and constantly be at the optimal efficiency point for, for each motor, uh, we're actually able to overcome the penalty of the increased mass of the motor. So any, any given motor or engine has a power versus efficiency curve, and the default behavior of the car, will be, the first priority of course will be traction control, road holding, um, and then the, the second will be efficiency, and then as soon as you punch the accelerator, we'll just go to max power. Efficiency, obviously, is less of a concern in that. Um, but, the, but this is this. Literally, everything improves about the car with the motor. Uh, there's, there's no, there's no sort of technical drawback in this case. Uh, so, and, and we've also, in, in, the, in the highest power version, the K85D, we've actually retained the larger rear motor and added and added the medium-sized motor to the front, which basically gives the, the car about half a gain as much power. And the T85s are pretty good, uh, you know, the car part. As probably a bunch of you have, have those cars. Um, but, but this this car is is nuts. It's like it's like taking off from a carrier deck. It's just bananas. Um, you know, it's like having, having your own personal roller coaster. They so just use it any time. Uh, so that, uh, I mean, it's, it's really my boy. Look, the, the target that we had for performance was to try to meet uh, one of the greatest, the, the, the acceleration of one of the greatest possible time, which is the McLaren F1. And so we were able to actually achieve it at 3.2 seconds, 0 to 60. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. <laughs> in fact, just, just you know, we're, we're going to have a, an option in the, in the option selection. Um, You'll be able to choose three settings, which is normal, sport, and insane. <laughs> you'll actually say insane. <laughs> it's true. I that. Uh, 
So that, that's um, it's, it's pretty exciting. We're really, really proud of uh, what the uh, Engineering team has been able to accomplish here. It took a, a lot of effort, and I think we've, we've got to uh, take a solution we can be really, really proud of. And it's also one that will continue to improve over time. So as we, we will roll out the initial uh, cars with dual motor, but then we'll um, we'll keep updating the, the software and firmware and improving, for instance, the, the torque vectoring and the, the, the road holding in various circumstances. So it will keep improving by nuances over time. All right, so let's move to the next, the, the something else. <laughs> which <laughs> And as as you also probably guess, it's autopilot. Okay. So we've been able to accelerate autopilot and, and bring it bring it to market faster than uh, originally anticipated. In fact, the, what, what people haven't quite realized is that all cars produced for the past two weeks have the autopilot hardware. So it's it's actually in production. In fact, every car coming off the line that has that factory has the autopilot hardware. But let's uh, look at the first, uh, the various elements of how we're doing autopilot. It, it consists of a synthesis of, of four different systems. The first is uh, a forward-looking radar. So that, that's scanning the cars in front of you, and it's, it's quite long range. So it's able to see things at, at a long distance. It's also able to see through fog, through snow, through sand, through anything, basically. Sorry? Oh! <laughs> Can we can we improve the <laughs> lower lower the Titan? Then the, the next element is a camera with uh, image recognition, so it's able to read stop signs, distinguish uh, pedestrians, uh, uh, look at traffic lights, and, and also serve as backup system to the radar. <laughs> you can see anything. <laughs> so, the, and then the, the, the third system is a 360 degree uh, uh, long range ultrasonic sonar. Uh, so this, this this basically establishes a protective cocoon around the vehicle, and it will attempt to make whatever the sort of smart move is um, from a safety standpoint, looking at the ultrasonics. Now the good thing with the ultrasonics is they can see even soft objects. So you, uh, they can see a sort of a small child or even a dog. Um, they can, they're, they're, they're very sensitive, and they operate at all speeds. So you're able to, to do this from zero miles an hour to 155 miles an hour. And so it'll detect if there's a car in your blind spot, if you've got a, a highway barrier on one side, if there's a, you know, something you might you know, move into in any, any way possible. Um, and then the, the final element is integrating that with the navigation um, and 
basically the GPS system and then real time traffic. So we integrate those four systems and the, the car can do almost anything. Uh, so, but it, but it is at this stage still what we call autopilot as opposed to autonomous. So the, even though the cars are capable of being autonomous, the, the level of safety and redundancy is not quite there for full autonomy. So it's not at the level where you could safely fall asleep and arrive at your destination. Okay, so that may be what you're wondering. Um, <laughs> but but, but it, it's, what, what it really is, it's, it's kind of, it's like active safety in the limit. Um, it's just what we're, it's what we're approaching. So, um, but it, it's, we're, we're, we're essentially going to push the limit of what, what's safe with this level of hardware, what's allowed by regulations. So, um, the, but it, we'll be able to do some, some fairly cool things. Including, uh, So we're able to uh, obviously do lane keeping on freeways, do uh, automatic cruise control, uh, active emergency uh, braking so that uh, it'll brake if it sees any object that you're going to collide with, um, and um, it'll do this, it'll self-park, so it'll be automatic parallel parking, automatically going to a garage. Um, in fact, it, when you, you get home, you actually be able to, to just step out of the car and have it park itself in your garage. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll open the door and it'll go in and park itself. And that, that's something, something I'd like to do, um, uh, which I think many of our engineers will be hearing this in real time, uh, is, is have the charge connector plug itself in. <laughs> Like, like an articulating, like a sort of a snake, like Metal Gear Solid or something. Uh, yeah, like just plug it up in. Uh, so th I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll probably do something like that. Uh, so you can just get out of your car and go pump yourself in your garage. Uh, and then uh, going, going a step further, you, um, you'll be able to summon the car if you're on private property. Oh, you have to be on private property too. Uh, you can actually summon the car and the car will come to wherever you are. And, and it'll, it'll, it'll use the ultrasonic sensors, kind of like an insect antenna. Because um, it, it can detect even small soft objects with the, the, ultra, with, with, with the ultrasonics. And, and just, it'll sort of slowly make its way to you and, and, then, and then stop and be ready to go. It can actually go even a step beyond that, which is if you have, if you have your calendar turned on, it'll, it'll meet you there. <laughs> So if, you, if you're getting ready to go to work or something and, and it knows, oh, you're, you're going to need to leave uh, half an hour before work, you can say, okay, I'd, I'd like to just uh, come out and have the air conditioning done and everything done. Uh, your, your music playing, everything's just ready to go and just come and be there. So I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, all of this, of course, this, this will be uh, rolled out uh, with a series of open-air software updates. So we can show you some, some uh, sense of the interface that we're talking about here. Oh, a very important point, though, in, in addition to the sensors, we, we, you have to have precise control. So we, we have an all-digital control system, high-precision, uh, really low-latency uh, control system, starting with the Motors, obviously, they're, they're electric motors. They don't have the latency and the, the sort of slow uh, spool up of uh, gasoline engines. Then uh, we go to the, the, the brakes. So we've, um, one of the big upgrades to the car is an electromechanical braking system. So it's, it's one of the most advanced braking systems in the world. It's able to very precisely control the amount of braking and also get to, to high braking levels very, very quickly. Uh, instead of having the normal vacuum assist system, uh, this, is, this is an electromechanical system. And then uh, we've got the, that, that's the mind with electric steering, electric power steering. So the whole, the whole system is a fully electric, digital control, low latency. This is all really important for having a great uh, driving experience, that the car is doing things in a, in a, in a natural way. All right, that's one. So this gives you a, a sense of the, the new interface. Um, and uh, the, 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 you can actually sort of see where cars or, or obstacles are around the car on the on the instrument panel. So it'll actually show 
cars that are, you know, this is the car ahead of you, cars moving to the sides and behind. And, um, and you, can, you can adjust the sensitivity of the autopilot if you want to be an sort of aggressive autopilot or you know, less aggressive. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's, and it, it'll warn you, it's, it's initially a, a, a visual warning if there's a potential collision risk, uh, like so it turns kind of object red. And then you know, it's an audible warning if you don't do that. And of course, it'll, it'll, resist, it'll resist steering into things that things are dangerous. So you can still overpower the, the steering, but it's going to give you the tactile feedback that you're, you're probably uh, headed towards something that would part things may be dangerous. So that's uh, that, that's what we have for you tonight. But uh, I mean, what, my words are, are nothing compared to the car. So. Um, we've, we've got a whole bunch of cars ready for you to take a test ride in, and uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. This is like an amusement park ride, um, and, and just to sort of tone it down, you'll, you'll see what the car's like with you know anywhere from three to five people in it. Imagine if it was only you. It's that much. It's a, it's a lot faster. So uh, have a great evening and enjoy the test drive.